the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington football team and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. It's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go. But they've come out playing good fundamental football. And that might carry them a long way. Meanwhile, for visiting Washington, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column. But obviously, they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Number 26. Well, Charles, we get a look at the draft class here for this team. What do you think? Well, I think for the most part, I do like what they did because to me, they got some solid players in the early rounds. And then if I'm correct in my evaluation, they got some great value in the later rounds as well. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. The pass. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll score it at a 36-yard punt, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now here come the Saints for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. We're not even a quarter way into the season. He's already off to a pretty nice start. NFC Offensive Player of the Week in last week's game. Yeah, week two, he was electric. Let's see what week three has in store. So first and ten now from the 30. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. 
think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. 25-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but he falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. It's certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. Washington going to send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And possession will switch hands first and ten. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And last... time the formula was pretty simple one play drive long pass that maybe they just want to do that again right and that's exactly how you want to draw things up whether it's on your grease board right in your playbook one play drives exactly what you want on offense what they have to be careful of is not having a letdown it was fairly easy last time they can't expect that going forward And we'll see if it's that easy here. Back to throw now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball is thrown. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he wants the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield. Mm -hmm. 
to the 45-yard line. Recovering. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. By number 26. The numbers for him from a week ago, 13 carries, 80 yards. Well, he's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carries. And he's going to be swallowed up, sacked back at the 45-yard line. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. A gain of 11 on the play. And a Washington first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. touchdown. A big play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7 just a four play drive that time and it was polished off by a Washington touchdown so I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away that'll be taken about a yard deep a dangerous return man showing it here and all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Now look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. I think he's still shaking his head a little. It was his fumble on the previous drive that led to the touchdown that has us tied. And sometimes it's worse on a runner who drops it like that to watch the other team take the ball downfield and score than maybe if they just returned it right away. You know what I mean? Because sometimes what happens that fast, you're right back out on the field. Instead, he had to watch it happen. Let's see if it affects him going forward the rest of the game. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time, he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Third and seven. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And look at this! Big game! And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line. 
line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Tackle made back at his own 49. Second and 11. Now they go screen. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And it's third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down, Washington. Now hand off here to his running back. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. We'll call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain. The running lanes have definitely not second been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to throw here. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 19. 15 yards the pick up, first down Washington. First down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And Washington has taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. 24 yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. He can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. And to give this time to the tailback. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This running game so important for them, and they know that it helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, 
And right now, we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Second and five. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Saints, seven. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And able to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. They're pretty woeful there, just 23 yards on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established their own pretty well. And teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And he'll give it here to his running back. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Second and 10 at the 33-yard line. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Number 47. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Washington on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and four. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fielded at the 20. A good return there, 17 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. The kicker here, it's complete. And a well pass midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll look to throw here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. 
the pass. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. It's caught inside the 25. 39 yards there. A good one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Number just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. A great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. You know what things you're hoping for when you run drag routes? You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside. Strong coverage by Washington. And now, fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball. But surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. It's a quarterback sneak. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stopped. Turnover out there set and ready for this next drive. The Washington offense. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now they try the right side here. Oh, he's going to take this out of the back of the end zone. And that's going to be a safety.
you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great play. I really do, Brandon. But I will go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> that was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Yeah, we'll see what his offense can do. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. At the 44-yard line. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And look at this one past the 30 down to the 25. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. That time a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Going for it all. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down here. 40-yard line. Washington. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Forced to the ground and incomplete. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. A loss of nine yards. And third down. Third and long. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Washington going to send out their punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems it? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they put some track to put there. Now a lot of guys just bear on the sidelines to try to put the football in. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 at a first down. Back to throw. He 
He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no idea what the ratio is about turning over four times and how that correlates to winning or losing. But I'll guarantee you, it's not very good. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. At the 40-yard line. Saints. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. some depth to the secondary. They've got six DBs out there now for third. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. We get a glance at the Washington defense as they head back out there. And they have four getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get it to someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Second and one. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ten yards, good for a Saints first down. Back to throw again. He's got a rifle on deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Incomplete in the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten. catch on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here so we've come to halftime in a five point game as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman he has our EA Sports halftime report okay Brandon thanks very much time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall so let's get to it 
We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. And it's the Buccaneers who are out in front. Danny Amendola, a touchdown reception. From there, we head to the Big Apple, more specifically to MetLife Stadium in Jersey to check on the Giants. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting L.A. Chargers. Rob Gronkowski, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And you can see they trail the visiting Cowboys. The Cowboys trying to hold on and claim victory. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone, and the half will begin with a touchback. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And three. From the shotgun now, here's an inside heel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now a play fake here on first down. Territory. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. This one over the middle and into the hands of his tight end complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Seven-yard pickup. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. 
And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. in the first half and this one number five they'll look to throw looking in zone but it's incomplete you get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far touchdown ground and once again the Saints are back out in front all drives that result in points hurt a defense but when they are the sustained variety play after play and they just can't get off the field and stop them that can be demoralizing offense will remain on the field and go for two. Again, he'll drop to throw. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, right? So field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of... run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. On play action, they'll throw. Going for the deep ball. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now, he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. Second 
So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll set up a throw. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Now a handoff here to his running back. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards there, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Oh, awesome. Brent, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Well, this throw caught left side. Touchdown, Washington! Washington. And there they... Got him the ball, just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. So they go with a... Pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. Intended. That's Nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Now it's Willis left side into the hands of his tight end. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. Eleven yards there, first down. Yard 
Going to give this time to the tailback. Stop shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. A gain of three, second down. They're going to look to throw. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. In Washington territory now. Here's first and ten, right at the 40. And he'll give it here to his running back. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. The ball carried by I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. touchdown so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the podcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. That time a six-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. where we started all even as the kicks away takes this about five yards deep and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback at their own 20 and Washington going to come back out here to take over offensively and their lead has evaporated in this third quarter it's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten running back. They'll have a first down past the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And they give this time to the tailback. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. 26. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the... 40. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Challenge pays dividends. The ref overturns the play. Everyone gets a bonus on this one, Brandon. The coach upstairs who says his signal down and said challenge it, and the head coach for pulling the red flag. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40.
four-yard line. It's a gain of 10. First down, Washington. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw is incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. It leads to second and 10. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. No gain on the play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. He's got his man in the crossing route. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 15-yard line. Gain on third down, good for 28. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And he'll give it here to his running back. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside game. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. You call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. He'll look to throw. He's going to throw one out here to his running back. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. I have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his man out. Complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the mark.
Walker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 41-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Second down this time complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 27-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Down right around the 25. 25 the Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. And they give this time to the tailback. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got six. Now second and four. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of one. It's now third and five. The Saints on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. Being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And oh, a little spin cycle. Run to run now. And they'll get this 
well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Brings up third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Back to throw now on first down. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. And again, this time to the tailback. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The tackle made. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Saints. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how they analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. Three yards the gain there, second down. We are inside of one minute, and one time that lots of the number quarter. Get up to the line of scrimmage, make sure they're set. No penalties in this situation, but you're exactly right. Conserve that timeout for when they really need it. 
That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. This throw caught by the six. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camper on this game. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Now the Saints offense will remain on the field and go for two. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw incomplete so they can't convert for two but they still have the lead as we get toward the end of the fourth is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really long. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Saints, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll have another home date next week as the New York Giants come to town. Meanwhile, for Washington, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you.